Well, hello, hello. How are you doing today? Hey, Paul. How hey. are you? Uh, doing wonderful. Thank you. We're so happy to have both of you on today because what a movie. Oh, my goodness. This one was uh, was was so uh, just just took us into a time that, that we almost can't imagine, but it's still very relatable. And when you get a script like this, you must just think, I've got to do this, right? Uh, yes. You know, when it, that's 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 the beginning of everything. It's the story, you know, it's the script. And um you're extremely lucky when you get such a good one, you know, when it's so beautifully written and so um, poetic and poignant and all the characters are real people, you know, you can feel how real they are. So, so yeah, when you read, when you read something like this, you're like, that's something that I should definitely do. And then you're lucky and, you know, you get to be, to be by wonderful people. Yeah, absolutely. When the movie's done. <laughs> Well, you probably felt the same way, right? I did. I absolutely did. Honestly, it's the it's the um it's the nicest thing uh, uh as an actor to kind of to get an email through with a with the attachment of a script saying you know you've been asked to do this. What do you think? And then you start reading it in your own world, and uh, I, I get this really tingly sensation when I when I read good scripts of wanting them to stay good to the end because there are there are quite a few scripts that are really good and then something happens oh no why did they why did they write that why did it go in that direction um but you know I'm gonna own up to a you know a massive ego as well it's very much about you know is this uh is this role uh got a lovely trajectory that I, I'm going to enjoy um inhabiting and you know, it was, it's a it's a really lovely part, Leonard, and it kind of be begins in one place, ends up in a very different place. Um, and you are inhabiting this world, which is, you know, I, I think really captured very well. It's it's a, quite a hard thing to do. Again, getting that sense of period without it becoming arch, which is very you know common in period uh, pieces where they all start to talk in a slightly oddly remote way, which doesn't feel very plausible and you don't see it in Dickens and you don't see it in others where you don't know why you see it in screenplays, but they do. Um, so yeah, a really lovely script. And then you go on that wonderful journey of, um, of getting to know the people involved. Uh, and yes, it was a very, very sweet transition into, into making it with a hiccup of COVID, it, but everything other than that was, uh, was, it was a very happy time uh, shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, for both of you, was there was there a moment where you're on set and you're just kind of looking around, going, oh, "This is great! I get I get paid to do this," and you know, you're you're one hundred percent. I honestly, so much so. I mean, I I on it. I get that sensation a lot working. Um, I do when you when you're just dropped into into the world in which you're you know, and you're able to look at everything that you're you know you've imagined on the page. But this one particularly, we were shooting in such beautiful uh, townscapes and, and you know, the, the the farmstead that my character lived on, the church, the interior of the church, and the whole journey through the Belgian countryside. You do, you do, you kind of get up, you get up for work and you, you know, and it's, this is a very fleet of foot production. You know, there's a lot of handheld, there's a lot of speed, the cameras, you're not hanging around a lot. We all got on set and we stayed on set because you just you just want to kind of live inside the world who wants to go off to sit in a caravan to do i don't know what you do but you know but you we just stayed there and it was you know and we helped that sense of community that we that we needed in the film yeah and sasha the same thing for you right yeah but you know like uh, you i mean i agree with everything that ian just said and i remember uh it, like ian mentioned this church and we we were filming and it was it was it was the night time and I get to be in the church and just walk around this massive beautiful very old church go to every little nook you know like walking inside and I'm like because it's a you know you get to do things that as in your normal life you would not be able to do and then I walked out of the church and I see like German troops fire you know like uh people in in like in costumes and I'm like wow I am in 1914 it's it's extraordinary and I actually get to do this and they pay me that's that's really incredible but you know you do have to pay yourself in a way with your emotions and your tears and sometimes heartbreaking you know scenes but it's so worth it yeah absolutely well you both have had a uh, fantastic careers where people look up to you and they think see this is what I want to do 
and uh, so you make it look a lot easier than it is. Uh, what kind of advice would each of you give to somebody that wants to follow in your footsteps? Um, it, you know, there's there's a lot that seems seductive to the business. I don't want to put a downer on this question, but you know, I I there's a kind of there's an area of uh, of fame or or reality TV or kind of uh, I don't know social media that can in, entice people, encourage people to think that kind of you know just being in front of the camera. And being an actor is, is you know, it, it, you know, it's something I want to do because I, I quite like the idea. I, you know, fame has never been of interest to, to me. So the only thing that I would say is just really, if get be drawn to it. If you really, really, if you really want to tell stories, if you really want to kind of um, try and pretend to be different people, if you've got that quality inside you that enjoys being pretend, just to pretend, because it's a very simple thing that we do. Um, which is I, you know, I'm going to pretend that I'm going to be angry. I'm going to pretend that I'm going to be a farmer in 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 Belgium at the turn of the century. I'm going to pretend to be whatever, um, and I I I have the facility. I hope I have the facility to occupy that 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 thing, and that's the joy in it, and no more or no less uh, than that. So just just if you've got that go for it just go for it go for it go for it and they'll you know people will you know say and try and pigeonhole you and make you like that or do whatever they will but but just if you've got that desire then go for it but don't go for it for fame and don't go for it for an easy life and don't go for it for money go for it because you you enjoy playing playing uh, people yeah well said sasha oh, no, i was listening i was listening to his advice <laughs> i was like oh. um I agree with what Ian said, you know, like I remember when I met uh, with my manager, he was like, so what do you want? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, why are you here? And I'm like, uh, I want to, I want to be on set. I want to make films. He's like, no, no, I mean, like, do you want to be on a cover of a magazine? And I'm like, do people really come into this for, for this? So it was, it was quite shocking that it's true. Some people come for fame and it's, and if you're coming for this, you're probably going to be disappointed. <laughs> um, but there are moments, and I remember talking to my friend who also works on set, and she was saying that she was under the rain in this like weird position, holding you know like a camera, and she was hungry and it was freezing. And at this moment, she was like, "I am so damn happy that I'm here. I love this job so much. That if you're ready to do this and still be really happy, then yeah, you're in the right place." But also. It's probably the most important advice and everyone kind of gives it, you know, always when they, uh, when I ask this question, believe, 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 believe in yourself, believe that you can do it. Do not be afraid. If you really love it and if you're ready to work hard and if it's, even if it's yours, you're going to get there. I love that. Well, last thing, I, I know there's so much to get out of this film and there's so many moral dilemmas and you see both sides. Uh, what is it that you're hoping that people will think about, talk, discuss after they see this? Because there's so much to talk about here. Yeah, I, I just hope that they get lost in the world. I think that they're seduced into into the world of a very different, um, you know, uh, time where people were living this beautiful life in the countryside, you know, and, and families get very involved with the people. Uh, but you have no idea what's happening in this film. There's the, the, as the characters do, the audiences will feel the same. Expect the unexpected, you you, you know, uh, and it takes you on a journey, which I think should fill you full of hope and uh, the strength of humanity and how people manage to survive the most extraordinary things. And we're seeing that in the world currently. People go through stuff and they they get up and they get on with their day and they survive. And this, this has that hope and that survival. So I hope they are, they take out the film, that sensation. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And I uh, look forward to talking to both of you again soon. We're going to tell everyone to check this film out. It's fantastic. Thanks so much for your thank support. Thank you so much, Paul. Okay, thank you.